We all know that thrift stores are a place that people come to find hidden treasures, but this place has become a place of therapy for one ex-offender and others like her looking for a fresh start. It's called Sister Hearts. Forty years ago, Louisiana had one of the lowest prison populations per capita, ranking 13th in the nation. Today, the state has the highest incarceration rate in America. But what happens to those inmates when they become ex-offenders and re-enter into mainstream society? Before I went to prison, I was a real estate investor. My net worth was $5.5 million. I came down here on vacation. While down here, I met a guy and I called him to pick me up. Well, the police stopped the car and they wanted to know what we were doing in a particular neighborhood. They wanted me to tell them something about this gentleman, but I didn't know him like that. So I refused to, to say what they wanted me to say. They made an example of me. They called it obstruction of justice and gave me a 25 year sentence. They completely snatch my entire life away from me. I am the mother of seven children. I just thought, well, since society goes to thrift stores to find hidden treasures, why not use the concept of thrift stores for ex-offenders to find the hidden treasures in us? People want to hug me, I'm like, oh my God. So you become a shell of a person? Yes. You become a shell of a person. I use this concept as therapy for me. That's how it started. It was therapy. And I began to see my whole mindset was changing. I began to feel more compassion towards people. I say, hello, my name's Miriam. Is there anything I can do to assist you? Are you looking for anything particular? Or are you just browsing? They don't understand, that's part of my rehabilitation. Because now, my mind has to process, I wanna come and help you. What I found out is that a lot of times women didn't see themselves on a level of worthiness. And every time I say the word sister hearts, I'm reminded of those 1,500 women that I left back in prison. Sister Hearts has grown into the largest thrift store in St. Bernard Parish and the only with a reentry program. And Mary says she wants to expand this concept to other parishes and make it a household name. In Airby, for Talk That NOLA, I'm Casey Ferrand. Watch more Prison to Purpose episodes at these websites or online platforms.